Yeah, it's been a strange day. Um, this is another edition of Moved In Now What. Um, my husband has to close down the music shop that he uh, manages today. Because uh, someone po tested positive for you know what. So he's got to close down that shop. I don't know when they're going to open up. I don't know what the hell is going on. So I just got through checking my mail and just trying to get a hold of my boss to see if I could get some work in. Um, nothing on that right now. So, unfortunately. So now, what am I doing? Working on art. And get ready for a session in just a second. As soon as I get back inside, I'll put you on pause. Let's see. So yeah, that's what that's what's going on here. Moved in now. What? This is going to be episode 70, I think. 70, 69, 70. No, it wasn't 69. It's either 70 or 71, so it'll say in the title. Um, yeah, it's been a very stressful time, to say the least. Um, just trying to stay afloat through all this crazy. I got a bunch of stuff on the table and to clear the table off. Yeah, it's been it's been a crazy, crazy, crazy day, crazy weekend. Um, as I've told you guys about, um, on a recent video experience I had, um, with some lady being so self-righteous as fuck, um, you can catch that video, um, look at my past videos that I've uploaded and you'll see it. Um, yeah, it's another hot day in Hill, California, not as hot as it has been, but all of this stuff is just really, uh, it's doing me in. I'm tired of it, you know, so... What do I do when I'm tired of it all? I decided to take my hair over to the side. <laughs> I decided to have a smoke break, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm drinking some carbonated water by the company Polar. It's a black cherry flavor. So. And I'm smoking on the strain. Oh, there goes the hair. I'm smoking on the strain, Bubba Kush. And I did a medical cannabis strain review on Bubba Kush uh, recently and you can check that out under the playlist under that very name, Cannabis Strain Reviews. Uh, that's what it looks like. It smells really good. I'm saving that big gigantic one for last. It's not gigantic but it's bigger than what I've been getting lately <laughs> to tell you the truth. Uh, I'm just so like... yeah as soon as I get immersed in art and creativity and relaxed and tranquil, then something crazy comes up. Never fails. You know, and all this, this kind of thing was happening before the pandemic happened. I get into that, that, um, that focus point of, um, creativity where it just flows and I'm, I'm, things are just happening with what I'm working on it. And then all of a sudden, something crazy ends up happening. Like what's happening now. It's just a lot of crazy going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and smoke this. Cheers and thanks for joining me. Yeah, I'm way beyond tired. But I'm not gonna take a nap because it's too late in the day. It's like 5.30. Uh, if I took a nap now, I'd be up till like midnight or one. And I really don't like that kind of a schedule for the things that I wanna get done. Um, because usually in the evening times, my husband stays up really late, so I can't really concentrate and really get into the art that I make completely and get into a meditative trance when he's got other things going on, you know, and stuff. So I've been getting up really early in the morning. I've been getting up at, uh, I didn't do that this morning, but I've been getting up at like 4 o'clock in the morning. For that reason and other reasons too what, that I won't mention, but I've been getting up at early at 4 in the morning and it's quiet then and there's no noise, not a bunch of noise and I can really concentrate and immerse myself in my art or in my writing so that I can work on these books that I've been working on, working on two different books. So um, the only time I can do it is those times, times of the day because as I said, you know, there's somebody here doing 
sometimes during the afternoon, my son's out and doing his thing during the afternoon, usually to the late, e I mean, early evening, but she's not here now. And, um, and then everybody's at home in the evening time on up to like one or two in the morning. And, um, I just can't, I can't, I can't, I don't want to stay up that late because I need to sleep. I can't just power through and just have only four hours of sleep every day. That's just not right for me. So. Cheers and thanks for joining me for this. Another edition of Moved In Now What? I got a whole bunch of stuff on the table. Well, this is, this is my keys. Stuff. But I have a bunch, <laughs> whole bunch of stuff on the table I've been working on because I've been making terms to, um, uh oh, now this is all, it was all like, the threads were all tangled in with my keys. I have a shadow being um, doll on my keychain. <laughs> if you guys want want one of these, let me know. Uh, but yeah, uh, I just got art on the table because I've been working on little accessories to go on to the doll coat that I've been making, working on. Things here. Just trying to um, put my focus somewhere, somewhere positive instead of um, so we're not positive. That was supposed to be a severed toe, but it's looking really weird. Like it now looks more like some sort of bug on on a white rock with some red something coming. <laughs> yeah, I've been really feeling just want to just create and not immerse myself in tragedy after tragedy yet again. You know, it's like good lord. You know. And there's a part of me that thinks, like, I feel, I feel like, man, if, if my husband would have just stuck with making art and being and being his own boss and having something independent, then he wouldn't be connected to all this and have to deal with all this, you know, because he's, he's a talented artist as well, but, he, yeah, he just chose to do this instead, so... It is what it is, you know, but I just know that um, when we, when he was making bamboo pipes, we were selling all of them. He would make a bamboo pipe and then I would de do designs on it and we were selling them left and right. Um, when we collaborated on art, it would sell, you know, and, but he doesn't want to rely on just art to, uh, to support him. And I'm just saying, maybe you might want to think about at least adding that to your repertoire, you know, having more than just one job, you know, one that isn't as, as, you know, psychologically demanding as the job that he has right now. But I can't tell him all this stuff because he likes his job no matter what, so I can't tell him anything about it. So, it's in the ashtray there. But yeah, that's what's going on with me um, right now. It's, it's just stressful is what it is. I haven't even toked off this bond. All right. Thanks for joining me today, and cheers. Yeah, I've been adding more and more things onto this, uh, this doll coat slash fabric bead coat. Um, it's coming on really nice, and I already have somebody who's going to buy it, so um, I'll be making another one because um, I have another coat that I want to reconstruct into just that, a doll coat. And, mainly my fabric embroidered beads all over the coat. Uh, it is a very uh, spiritual experience, these art pieces I'm making, especially this one right now. Um, it's very therapeutic as well to focus my energies into something creative instead of constantly thinking about tragedy after tragedy after tragedy after tragedy after tragedy. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's only so much I can, I can deal with as far as that goes. And it makes me seem like I'm some cold-hearted bitch sometimes around here. I know that. I know that that's the impression that, that um, people think of me, but it's not even what's going on. It isn't. What's going on is me trying to stay focused and not be distracted by all this shit that's going on. I have to focus in on something other than all this. You know, I can't focus in on it all day long because then... What are, where am I? What good am I? Nothing. Nothing. You know what I mean?
And that's expense after expense. And, you know, as it is, my husband took an advance on his check for this coming month, the same month, beginning of the month, for when we have to pay rent. So, I mean, we have just enough to pay rent. And then we have, like, change left pretty much for um, to get by until next payday. And that's how it's been. It's been frustrating. And um, it's been frustrating for me to be able to find employment that's consistent other than the art that I create. And the art that I sell, and I create and sell, the sales on it haven't been as consistent as, you know, the head of the household would want them to be, you know. So, I mean, it kind of helps when, when two people believe in someone's art instead of just one. That's just a point I would put out there, you know, because I feel like I'm struggling against the tide when it's just me believing in what it is that I do and nobody else but me. So, um, and I keep getting this message, stay strong, stay strong. And I talked to you guys about that whole thing about people telling me stay strong all the time. I'm tired of hearing that. I am tired of hearing that because that does nothing for me it doesn't I don't feel it it just it's kind of like what it's like it's kind of like saying a polite way of saying whatever that's what it feels like to me whatever I've got my own problems you know so I'll say stay strong or namaste or something <laughs> you know what I mean but that's not helping it doesn't help so um, yep it's like when I get in a, in a pleasant mood, it's not right for me to be in a good mood because of all the disasters and, and things that are happening in this world. I'm not supposed to feel relaxed and pain free. I'm supposed to live tortured all day long and sick and, you know, struggling and feeling, you know, vulnerable and paranoid and fearful and angry all the time. That's what's expected of me. Recently, um, what, what time are we at? 12 minutes? Did I even toke off this bond? Yeah, I did. I'm going to have to take another toke. I'm getting really heated here. <laughs> Look, luckily my hair is wet, so um, I just got through doing a, a coffee slash cinnamon um, hair mask on my dreadlocks, and man, it feels really good. It smells good, too. So, yeah, and, and it cools down my head, it cools down my, uh, it cools down my state of mind, too, so I'm not too overly heated, and I don't do things or say things that I will regret, you know? I'm just tired of people, like, trying to tell me, like, um, put your chin up, get your chin up, and stuff like that, the whole bootstraps mentality, it doesn't help when you tell people that, it doesn't. It's just like making that person feel like you don't give a shit. Oh god, this is good. This might have to be a two-parter. We're at 13 minutes. Let's make this a two-parter of Moved In Now What. Thank you for joining me. Uh, in part two, I'll be showing you some of the art that I'm working on to put onto the doll coat that I've been working on. So it's not all doom and gloom here where I'm living. I make it less that way because I focus in on the creative process of making art because it's very therapeutic and it helps me to stay focused on what it is that I can do, you know, and not trying to, to make something happen that I can't make happen. I mean, that's just impossible to do that, so. Alrighty, guys, thanks for joining me for part one of Moved In Now What? Catch me on part two. This is episode, as I said, I think it's episode 70 or 71, so. If you'd like to donate to this channel, please do so I can get the fuck out of here, because um, our family is just not doing well under these circumstances. We're crumbling under this stress and under this pressure, under this tons of noise all the time, you know, this hostility for no fucking apparent reason to us, you know, I don't understand. I, I mind my own business as best as I can, so um, it's just a lot of angry people right now in the world and 
I just say don't take your anger out on somebody who has nothing to do with why you're angry. Because that's been happening to me a lot lately. Not, you know, with going in and shopping and stuff. People are in a fucked up mood or whatever and then take it out on me. And look at me and get pissed off at me. And I'm done with that shit. So, Alright, on part two I'll talk to you yeah, about the art that I'm creating to deal with this situation. And um, also another experience I had this week. That really just... It makes me feel done with human beings, really, seriously. It makes me really definitely feel like I am not from this planet. So, thanks for joining me. You can donate through my PayPal, Google Pay, or Cash App. In exchange for your donation, I can create a one-of-a-kind piece of artwork for you. Or I can create a video based on a topic of your choosing. With that said, brightest blessings to you all, and I'll see you on part two.